We end May with AMMB Holdings following its FY23 results. And Kananga liked enough of what it saw to keep its outperform call and tweaked its target price up by 5 cent to 5 ringgit and 5 cent, which implies a possible upside of over 40%. Briefly, FY23 net earnings of 1.74 billion made up 103% each of both Kananga's forecast and consensus full-year estimates. A final dividend of 12.3 cent was declared, amounting to a full-year payment of 18.3 cent, i.e. a 35% payout ratio, which Kananga called a positive surprise. The research house has raised its FY24 earnings forecast slightly after calculating in FY23's results. Ultimately, post the briefing, and bank appears cautious. Although it outperformed its FY23 loans growth target, it expects a more moderate pace in the coming year, around 5 to 6%, akin to the industry. The group looks to focus on CASA strategies to uplift its NIMs, or net interest margins, and opines that it may be able to achieve a relatively stable rate, although Kananga warns of some strain. The divested Amgen Liberty Insurance Group looks to contribute more in terms of associate earnings going forward, as it puts in place more expansionary strategies. So after its latest results, Bloomberg data shows two holes, but predominantly it is buys, 10 to be exact, where Kananga is one of the highest in terms of target price. The average target price works out to 4 ringgit 33 cent thereabouts, which is 76 cent more than its last close.